I'm sitting here at the headwaters of the Missouri River enjoying a beautiful morning and thinking about Mary Baker Eddy's statement, a very empowering statement of truth when it comes to healing through prayer, where she wrote on page 393 in Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures, take possession of your body and govern and control its feeling and its action. Wow, really? <laughs> when I read that, is this possible? She wrote it from experience. She demonstrated it herself. So it obviously is very possible. And thinking about what that statement means and how I can apply it in my own life, I take those words, take possession of your body, to mean take possession of your thoughts about your body. Christian science explains that the human body is human consciousness manifests. So government over the body begins with government of thought over the body. And the most harmonious thought is the thought that reflects the thought of God. We're not talking about human mind willpower or controlling the body through the human mind because the human mind is not a reliable source of control. It might get it right once in a while, but it might get it totally wrong another time. So you can't count on the human mind for a predictably good effect. You really need to go to the divine mind. So to take possession of your body or to take possession of your thought is to watch what's going on in consciousness and be sure it's coming from God, from the mind of God. So as you hold your mental watch for the day and you notice something floating through the atmosphere of your thought that's not right, that's not coming from God, you can check it. You can take possession of it, rule it out, and prevent it from turning into a physical sensation. Any type of suggestion floating through thoughts, such as suggestion of, oh, here comes a cold, a pain, an ache, uh, an ailment from the past, anything that would imply physical suffering first starts as a mental suggestion. And you can check it at the door of your thought. Take possession of it, rule it out with the truth that you are a harmonious spiritual being, that you are created, formed and shaped by the mind of God, that you only embody God's perfection, spirituality, spiritual harmony, order, peace, predictable, reliable, permanent, and certain health. Check those error thoughts with the truth of your being, take possession of them, and live in harmony with the mind of God. In that way, you will be able to exercise more dominion over the body, govern its feeling and its action, and ensure that the outcome of everything you think is a good outcome an outcome that the mind of God would outline and not the effect of some erroneous suggestion from mortal mind. Take possession of your body. Take possession of your thoughts. Line up with the mind of God. Let God be your thought maker and you'll have a much better experience with the body.